Hi, my name's Kyle from CircleCI Support, and today we're going to quickly go over how to schedule a workflow, which is incredibly useful if you're trying to set up nightly, weekly, monthly, or any other kind of scheduled builds. In the description, we have a link to the docs, which has an example, as well as a fully fledged example up on GitHub. Today we're going to go over a simplified version. I have my config right here, and I've already set up the project. Taking a look, I have two jobs, a build and deploy job, as well as a workflow, which currently will only run the build job on every commit. Currently you can see on the first commit, like with any commit, we're going to have the build job run. What we want to do now is add a secondary workflow, which will launch deploy only on the master branch and on a set schedule. What we'll do is start by naming the second workflow. I'll call mine scheduled workflow. Then we want to identify the trigger that will enable this workflow to begin. By default, that's going to be a commit, but we can set ours by using the triggers keyword. We're going to set our trigger to a schedule, and we're going to feed our schedule a cron. This cron must be in POS IX syntax. We'll have more information about that in the description. I'm going to set mine to fire every hour. Of course, we don't want this to fire on every branch. We're only interested in our master or production branch, so we'll enable filters. We're going to filter at the branch level, and we only want to include our master branch. Then, of course, remember to include the jobs that we want to run. In our example, that's going to be the build and deploy jobs. Go ahead and save that and commit to your repo. If you head back to your workflows page and give it a refresh, you'll be able to see that the new commit has triggered a new build. Currently, this will only run the build job. Okay, we configured our workflow to fire off every hour, so let's come back at five o'clock. All right, five o'clock has just passed, so you can see now that we have a new workflow, and you can see we have deploy and build. All right, that's all for this video. If you have any more questions, of course, feel free to ask below or contact us in support. Of course, you can always join the discussion on our forums. If this video helped you out, let us know in the comments below. We'll see you in the next one. Happy building.